pack. Hey everybody, I uh, just wanted to talk about the new Leo Photo LN404C tripod. Uh, my buddy Christopher's got one and uh, first time using it today and honestly we set it up, put the rifle in the uh, mount here. Uh, I took two shots at 830 yards, got two impacts on an 18, I think it's an 18 inch plate. And we've gotten quite a bit of wind here so, uh, so far real pleased with it. We've got this Leo Photo LN404C tripod. And I was looking for a, a high performance type tripod that's maybe a little more economical than some of those out there. And this uh, Leo Photo one has done a pretty spectacular job. So we're putting together this video to share our experience with it and some of the parts that we've had to order to set it up to get it to run the way we like to do it in the precision rifle game. The tripod comes with the ball head fixture installed. So I'll flip this lever and push the safety button to pull that out because we won't be using that. We want to take our half ball bowl and install it, lock it into place, and then we take our half ball and I have the Arca Swiss mounting plate on it. So if your bowl is 100 millimeter, you need a 100 millimeter half ball. Or if your bowl is 75 millimeter, then you need a 75 millimeter half ball. Just put it in and tighten up this handle on the bottom and it's ready to go. When you put in the bowl on the top of the tripod, the tripod needs a half ball head and then typically an Arca Swiss adapter. The LN404C typically comes with a 100 millimeter bowl. You can get a 75 millimeter bowl. This one's by Desmond. Then you're also going to need a corresponding 75 millimeter half ball. This is an aftermarket 75 millimeter one. But it's important that the edge of your half ball is clear all the way across this curve to the top. So that when you put it in and you want to pan, it gives you just a little bit extra. There's some that have an edge that sticks out. The half ball that I purchased came with this handle and the head's pretty loose. It made it so that either the head was locked in fully tight or it was way too loose. So if you take an O-ring and you slip it in here, it gives you a little more intermediate control. So you come in and remove this snap ring. Take this plate off. And install this o-ring reinstall that plate and just put this snap ring back in place now it'll be a smoother transition from locked totally tight to a somewhat loose One of the reasons why I like this tripod, and you see it on some of the other high performance tripods, is you have this leveling head and it has a single knob on the bottom of it that you tighten. And I think this is really key and it's really nice, especially when you set your rifle in it or you have your binos. You can lock it in or you can leave it a little bit loose and it still pans around. I think that's a huge thing about these tripods. But if you want to go with this half ball, leveling head or floating head, you're going to need to buy the uh, aftermarket half ball adapter. So I found that just giving each of these knobs when I'm extending it just half a turn and not necessarily waiting until I can feel the total resistance on it, it still locks as tight even though this knob isn't locked tight without spinning it all the way in. 
So it makes it faster to deploy the legs. And here we'll set it up so that we can see how tall it actually goes compared to how tall I am. This comes with uh, four sections in each leg. So you can see that it's significantly taller than I am. I set this up, or I chose this tripod because I wanted to be able to stand upright when I'm spotting, whether it's hunting or in a PRS match. Well, I need it to be, uh, with, I'm 6'3", and so I need this tripod to be about 68 inches tall. That 364C, it only goes to about 63 inches. So then it causes me to have to bend over and, uh, in order to see through a pair of binos. So we'll shorten this back up here just a little bit, and then you'll be able to see but puts it just about the right height. Right there, just guessing where I need to be. I can spot right there. So I'm 6'2", and I have this set, this tripod, to 68 inches. And you'll notice I can stand straight up and look through a pair of binos without hunching over. In the little bit of time that we've been playing with this tripod, shooting off of it, we found the Leo Photo LN 404C to be comparable to other high performance carbon fiber tripods. We're pretty excited about it and it's really, really stable. That's one of the features that we keep hearing from our friends that are using them as well, that it's a really stable, sturdy platform.